Delta. So I'm going to the National Institute of Health. We're having a roundtable. Uh, things are going very well, as you see. It's been uh, very strong. Uh, Mike Pence and the entire group are doing an excellent job. And uh, do you have any questions? Well, it's anything can happen, but I wouldn't say inevitable at all. No, I wouldn't say we've really uh, we've done a good job by doing it and combating it so early. We have the best people in the world, and I think we're getting a lot of credit for having made that early move. So. No, I don't think that's inevitable at all. Mr. President, what do, you, what do you need to see from Congress right now? Well, I think Congress, we're working along well with Congress to get the various fundings that we're looking for. That's important in terms of stopping what we're doing. Uh, some countries have some very big problems. We're working with them to help them. They're really unaware of, they've never done this before. We do it very well. And we're working with other countries, and that's very important. On the Olympics, do you believe the Olympics should still be held in Japan? Are you comfortable with U.S. Olympic athletes? Well, I going think to I'm going to leave that to Prime Minister Abe. He's a friend of mine. He's uh, built a beautiful venue. It's a very sad thing if that would happen because the venue's incredible. They've spent billions of dollars. But I'll leave that up to Japan. That's What's up the to them. Uh, I would say that the Fed funds rate, the rate, as you would call it, is too high. Uh, it should be eased down so that we're competitive. Look, we have the greatest country in the world. We have the strongest country in the world. It's our dollar that the world relies on. We should have the low rate. But we have a Fed that doesn't agree with that. I disagree Are with you them. Sure that the what are you saying to your critics? I, you say it. I did. I spoke to the leader of the Taliban today. We had a good conversation. Uh, we've agreed there's no violence. We don't want violence. We'll see what happens. They're dealing with Afghanistan, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Do you believe this is a pandemic, sir? Is this a pandemic? We had actually a very good talk with the leader of the Taliban. Yeah. Is this a pandemic, sir? Do you believe that the Democratic establishment is trying to take it away from Bernie Sanders? Well, I think there's no question the establishment, the Democrat establishment, is trying to take it away from Bernie Sanders. There's no question about that in my mind. Now, look, a lot's going to be learned tonight. We'll see how well Biden does. We'll see how well Sanders does. Uh, I would have said two, three days ago, Biden was not looking too good. Now he's looking better. But a lot's going to be done by a certain time tonight. You tell me the time. By, you know, California, we're a little bit we're a little delayed, so probably by 9 or 10 o'clock tonight, we're going to have some big answers. What should happen, sir, for patients without insurance? For patients who don't have insurance, Mr. President, what should happen? Will you, will your administration... We're looking at people? that whole situation. So? There are many people without insurance, so we're looking at that situation for those people. So what do you say, Mr. President? What do you... Whoever it is, I don't care. I really don't care. Whoever it is. We will take them on. Hey, the job we've done, we've rebuilt the military. We have the strongest economy we've ever had. All of the things we've done, uh, I will take on anybody. You'll debate any of them? Any of them. Very gladly. Very gladly. <laughs> Go ahead. Do we, do, we need to, do we need to have more stringent containment measures to stop the virus from spreading? In well, country? we're being very stringent. But we're now looking at other countries that have been badly affected, and we're thinking about doing something. We may have to do. Like we don't Europe? want to do that, but we're looking at other countries, like, and like, we're being very stringent. Like European Union now, countries? Now, I'm going, but I'll be back, and I'll see you over there. Go Mr. ahead. President, what do you say? Go ahead. Uh, we're not looking at that at all now. There's only one hot spot, and that's also pretty much in a very, in a home, as you know, in a nursing home. No, not at all. No, not at all. But we're doing a fantastic job. The professionals are doing a great job. We're really happy with the job they're doing. They have, they have been just ahead of it. And we're ahead of it by having stopped so much earlier than nobody wanted us to cut off access to our country. And I did it early. By doing that, that was a big step. Otherwise, many more people would be infected.
When did they announce that? A little while ago? That's a tough move. No, I'm not prepared for that, but let them do what they want to do. I'm hearing more and more about that. I, I don't think it would be necessary, no. What other countries, sir? That's uh, too bad. Jeff, go ahead, question. Cutting off travel to and from Italy and South Korea, you already put we're, we're watching Italy very closely, South Korea very closely, even Japan very closely, and we'll make the right determination at the right time. We've cut it off, as you know, with numerous other countries. Okay? What other countries are you considering? Say it. Any other countries you're considering cutting off travel? Uh, they are the hot spots right now. No. Of the Fed press conference, sir. Did you watch that? Did I didn't watch it. No, I didn't watch it. But the Fed is very disappointing to me. They have to lead, not follow. They are following, not leading. Do you They're think very you make tax cuts or anything else. Disappointing. They should be leading, not following.